just about to get my hair cut. But I'm not allowed to drive this car until this gets fixed. Before, after. Perfect. Workout, check. Haircut, check. Cool car, check. Shower, check. and I'm heading over into uh, Westwood, kind of the Westwood area, to the Landmark Theater. That's where the premiere of this movie, Passengers, is playing. Uh, the Landmark Theater, that's where the premiere of the movie's Passengers is playing. So, um, get a chance to finally see what these guys look like, you know, in the film. see this movie since uh, I first went to the uh, original junket. I love science fiction movies and this certainly looks pretty cool. too early. Been walking around the mall for quite some time. Not too exciting to uh, walk around the mall. Got some coffee. Good morning. Today I'm headed into I'm not really sure what city it's in, but I think it's Culver City. But right now I'm going to a press junket. We get the chance to meet the, uh, the stars and all that kind of nonsense. There's also gonna be a space panel. So I'm gonna be talking to some of the people that um, kind of supported the film and made the film scientifically sound. Now the movie studios put these things together so that press people and people in the media and people that do kind of the stuff that I do. I'm not a normal press person, but they do this kind of stuff, kind of spread the word about the movie. Hotel in Hollywood. This is where the press events take place up on the 15th floor, so I gotta head up there. I think. It's a pretty nice tree. Got 
fancy schmancy. headed to the press conference. I can't shoot this, unfortunately. So I'll just have to tell you guys about it a little bit later, but they're not allowing cameras in. This is nine, and we're hanging out at the uh, passengers press screening in Beverly Hills. Uh, this is about all we can shoot. We can shoot um, having coffee and, and working, but uh, we can't shoot the press conference, which is happening right up there. We can't show what that is. And we can compare notes about the film. Yeah, yeah. Which we saw last night. What did you think in, in, in ten seconds? Ten seconds. Um. Oh gosh. I agree. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> It's a big movie. Jennifer Lawrence is hot. That's yeah, what I'll say. She's hot. She's a great actress. Yeah. We're shooting video. Oh, hi. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. What did you think of the movie? Oh, 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 oh. Stop. What was your favorite part of the movie? I can't give it away. Well, it was one of those steamy scenes, wasn't it? I can't See? give it away. Yeah. Uh, what has what been your favorite movie in the last few weeks? This is the only movie I've seen in the last few weeks. I am not yeah. the girl to interview. Yeah. Yeah. This is Ryan right here. He is a horror expert. Right here. He's the man. But we're not seeing a horror film right now. No. That's okay. Supposed to. You want to know anything about horror? That's the guy right there. Science panels next. No, I just right, Ryan? Right. Very, very cool press conference. Uh, wish I could have shown this to you guys. It's going to be online pretty soon. You probably can go to the homepage of AOL pretty soon and see this stuff. But I got a chance to meet uh, Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence. Super nice people. Uh, amazing actors. As well as the, the director, Morton, and a couple other people from the movie, John Spates, who is the screenwriter. These guys are really passionate about this project, and, uh, and hopefully uh, the response from you guys will be positive. I know it was for me. I enjoyed it. It was very cool. All right, it's time to head back to the Boo now. We're driving the Nissan 370Z. It's rocking. Very, very cool time. Uh, big thanks to ZoomWorks for sending me out to this uh, this press conference. Uh, you know, it's always inspiring to meet people uh, on on that kind of level. Both Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence have done a spectacular job as actors, growing in the industry and doing some amazing films. Great performers. Uh, they certainly live up to that expectation in this movie, Passengers. It's a strong, solid concept by John Spates, and uh, uh, it just was thoroughly enjoyable. I think you guys are gonna like it. All right, I didn't get to actually show the press conference. That was one of the stipulations. We couldn't video or, or vlog any of that kind of stuff. But uh, I took a Few pictures. We had a really good time. Uh, everyone was in, in very good spirits and uh, uh, just loved being there and talking about the film and we went in depth in a lot of different areas. 
I also got a chance to uh, to meet some of the people um, from JPL, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, talking about the science of the film and, and making sure that the science was as close to reality as possible. The writer John Spades, he did a really great job at trying to, to make a lot of that science work within the parameters of the film. But overall, the production design was fantastic. I uh, had a really good time. And voila, Kathy joins me. Uh, but why are you here, little Kathy? Because she made me come sit down. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, kind of. I kind of did that. But today is the day that we give away these flying eyes. Am I have it? Oh, yeah, this is right. Uh, we got some really interesting 10 second videos that came in. I thought I got to keep them. You, you get to keep the videos. You don't get to keep the glasses. The glasses but go to the They winner. look good on me. I know they look good on you, as all things do. But you don't get to keep these. These are not yours. Right. But we got three. I know the winner. We narrowed it down to three. <sighs> Let's just show the three top ones. Okay, here's the three top. Fireball Tim, I need new glasses. Send me new glasses! Tim! Tim! I really need those sunglasses. This is the first time I've been out in three years. I don't know how I got out here, but I know I'll be blinded by the light. Fireball, can you uh, send me those flying eyeballs? Because these are my mom's prescriptions, and I can't always see straight when I'm wearing them. And we're back. Um, you know, I don't know. That I, was pretty good. That was pretty funny. Was they're pretty actually, terrible. you know what? They're all good. Yeah, they're all good. I wish we had three pairs of glasses, but we don't. We only have one. And who's the winner? The winner is Eric. Eric Bendixson. Uh, Eric, you have won these spectacular glasses and... Um, Sorry, everybody else. That's right. Oh, it's got all the plastic on it. Forget it. All right, Eric, we're sending you these brand new aviator glasses. Ooh. Eric lives in New Jersey and you probably need sunglasses. You're going to need these because it's it's the snow, it's glary, and you're going to look really badass. And sometimes the sun comes out there. It I does. Hear. All right, congratulations, Eric. Way to go. All right, you can go back and do whatever you were doing. Looks like okay. you're washing the dogs. I was, but they can't see that on camera. Oh, yes, they can. <laughs> okay, that's it for today's vlog, uh, number 505. The dogs are barking. There's probably someone. Thanks for watching. Be sure to join us on Instagram. A lot of great stuff that's going on in there. Big shout out to Humbler GTO 455. If you're uh, into classic, uh, not only classic cars, but classic cool ads, you're going to want to check him out. Really appreciate the support that we're getting, uh, um, not only on Instagram, but on all our other social networks. Thanks again, guys. You be good out there. We'll see you tomorrow.